Hey everyone, it's Rachel and today I have a quick tutorial for you. I will be sharing how I made this little project. I made this on my Glowforge Aura and I used a wood slice and some cardstock paper. So I'll go over um, step by step exactly how I made it and I'll also share the cutting and engrave settings. But before we get started, I wanted to talk about Laser Craft Fest. So three things that you need to know about this event. The first thing is that it is a free online event that my friend Bale from Just One More Project is hosting and you can watch it from the comfort of your own home. And two, there is going to be a Glowforge Aura giveaway so you definitely don't want to miss this because one of you guys could be lucky enough to win it. And three, Laser Craft Fest is jam-packed with so many resources. We have workshops from these wonderful laser creators as well as a live Q&A from Bailey and Nick from Glowforge as well. So this event starts tomorrow September 12th till the 14th. If you're tuning into my videos for the laser crafting content you definitely don't want to miss this so make sure you grab your free ticket right now Plus, if you get the All Access Crafters Pass, you may see a familiar face because the All Access Crafter pa Crafters Pass comes with a whole bunch of bonus courses. So go ahead and grab your free ticket. It will be the very first link in the description below. I am so excited to extend this invite to you because I know you guys are really and truly going to enjoy it. So anyways, um, I'm just getting over a cold, which is why you're seeing me at this desk setup. But I just wanted to make this quick video and I'll have another video out in a few days but anyways let's go ahead and let's get started with this tutorial. First things first let's measure the thickness of this wood slice. Using my caliper I measured the thickness of this which came out to 0.47 inches. These wood blanks usually come in huge packs and I find them to be pretty much the same thickness for each wood piece. For this I am removing the cutting tray and placing it at the bottom of the Glowforge Aura and trying to center it where it will be directly underneath the camera when I close the lid. In the Glowforge app, I'm selecting unknown material, use uncertified material, and inputting 0.47 inches for the thickness. If you're wondering, no, it is never too early to start your Christmas projects, in my opinion. But anyways, I uploaded my SVG design and deleted the parts that I won't be using. Dragging and selecting this Merry Everything saying, I sized it down and placed it on top of the wood piece. With the design selected, I went up to these three dots and clicked set focus. With this little red box, I am going to try to click into the very center of the wood. But you'll see later on how it didn't come out perfectly, but that's okay. For the engrave settings, I went into manual mode and left the speed at 100. Power, I moved it up to 8 and the lines per inch, I put 205. I hit print and it took 10 minutes to engrave. As you can see, it was a teeny bit off and looking at the Glowforge app, you can see the design was a little offset from where I placed it. Setting focus and placing it directly underneath the camera always works for me when I'm using my Glowforge Pro. So honestly, I just need to play around with the Aura more. But I just wanted to share how your first projects won't always be perfect. Now let's put the cutting tray back and we are going to cut some cardstock. I used a scrap piece of red cardstock to cut some rolled paper flowers out of. If you've seen some of my older videos, I did a lot of paper flower tutorials with my Cricut so it was kind of fun to get back into it and I am going to use 80 pound cardstock as the material. Even though this cardstock is about 65 to 70 pound cardstock the settings for 80 pound works great. The total time it took for cutting was about five and a half minutes and I was pretty impressed by how detailed the cuts were. It even popped right out so I went ahead and did a, another two flowers with another scrap piece of cardstock. Now let's cut some leaves out of this rose gold foil cardstock. For this particular cardstock, I am going to place it foil side down with the brown back craft paper side facing up. When doing my test cuts, I found that it cuts through better this way with the foil facing downwards. Then in the Glowforge app, we are going to make a quick change to the settings. I am still using 80 pound cardstock, but I am going to lower the speed to 55. Lowering the speed will make the laser have have a deeper cut through this thicker foil cardstock. And in just under two minutes, we have this pretty rose gold paper leaves. 
If you've made rolled paper flowers before, you already know how to do it. So using a pick or toothpick, you start at the end and just start rolling it up. Once the flower is rolled up, use a little bit of glue on the circle to seal it. Here I'm using super glue, which I never do, <laughs> but my other glue was dried up and I was too lazy to get out my hot glue, if I'm being honest, but this did the trick. I finished rolling up the rest of the flowers, fluffed out the petals, and arranged them with the paper leaves. These wood slices come in huge packs and have holes at the top so that you could use them as ornaments. I will make sure to link those wood ornaments below and the engraved settings should work across all of these blank wood slices that you may come across. And this is my quick Glowforge Aura early slash pre-holiday Christmas project that I wanted to share with you all. If you want all these engraved settings from this video and all my videos in one place, make sure to grab that free download in the description as well. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you all in my next one very soon. Bye guys!